Hello, let's hello there. And greetings from Kazan Tatarstan. My name is Farhad Fatkulin. I will be talking to you about Wiki sustainability and uh, the messages from the Russian app. Let's start sharing my screen. Here is the presentation. I have prepared it together with my colleague Ilnur. Uh, happy to be presenting uh, to you. Uh, let us start with the greetings from our elders that have uh, welcomed us and uh, wished us well in our undertaking. Uh, and uh, pass the greetings to other colleagues of ours in the Wikimedia movement around Russia and internationally. Uh, my credentials, uh, as well as uh, those of Ilnur, uh, with my colleague, we are co-admins, uh, uh, two out of five in uh, Tatar Wikipedia, uh, as well as members of the same user group. We originally intended to talk about our community approaches, uh, as well as uh, strategy and some projects, but nobody else from around Russia filed, so dear organizers kindly requested us to give a year in review, so the structure has changed a bit. Uh, the outline. Let's start with uh, Wikimedia in Russia. There are different user groups. We have one chapter. Uh, this is the list of uh, languages that have official status and the indigenous to Russia. In green, we are showing those that are official at the country level somewhere, namely Azerbaijani, Finnish, Kazakh, uh, Russian, Ukrainian. Uh, those five are clearly doing much better than many others, and we have certain ranges within as well. Our Wikiverse, same slide as last year, only changed one language moved from incubator to main space in case of Wikipedias. Uh, 2017 photo. In 2020, we didn't have such large gatherings. Uh, and I would skip most collaborations for the sake of time and name only the local ones or regional ones you might not have heard about. The context, 150 languages, uh, large country, uh, different family groups, uh, different economic environment, uh, as well as, of course, cultural realities differ. Uh, over 80% of the population speak nothing but Russian at the same time. Uh, monitoring, uh, this is top 10 minus uh, those uh, five large ones. Uh, you see uh, Tatar Wikipedia in blue is getting highest uh, in number of hits overall. Uh, but uh, for comparison, Russian gets about 25 million hits a day. And the other four are also in hundreds uh, of thousands to millions. So we are very much invisible. Uh, search engines are trying to serve the majority. Uh, are we getting any local support? We do. Uh, at various levels in various issues. Just giving an example from my region. Now we are supporting each other, uh, the volunteers as well. Uh, would be having one after the Arctic knot soon. Now, what has happened over the course of the year? Main elements from the started with the Celtic knot. We had it in uh, all three languages of importance for Tatarstan. To the Arctic knot, we'll get there too. Uh, annual event dedicated to alumni and mentors of Russia's universities as well as other projects supported by Russian Presidential Grants Foundation. Uh, then in September, there was an outreach event at uh, Grozny University, a number of those, uh, some later. Uh, Wiki Conference Russia this year, much fewer participants, mainly online. Uh, regional events, uh, there is a Caucasus one, there is a Turkic one, and some others. Happy to see Wikimedia Foundation uh, starting paying attention to simultaneous interpretation in regionally important languages, uh, various meetings, and this was CE online meeting 
also. Now, uh, locally, uh, in my case, I had a chance to speak on Wiki for importance of Tatar and the digital transformation of respective culture in local parliament. Uh, we had been reached out by academia uh, and had a number of events with them. And then here is uh, Dmitry, who is a professor of history in Kazan Federal University, very active participant of Russian Wikipedia, was uh, participating in this hybrid event. Uh, also, uh, an important step was uh, convincing local elites to start paying attention to Wikipedia. We got some 50 quality articles uh, developed, sourced, uh, brought up to date in Russian, in line with Russian Wikipedia standards, and then translated them into English and Tatar. Uh, local community Tatar language participated, was very happy to see this. Uh, a lot is being done by our uh, Bashkir Wikipedia elder, who now started his online school and brought a number of lecturers. Uh, we are trying to follow in the footsteps of what they are doing, uh, continuing interacting with all the stakeholders and uh, supporters of multilingualism locally. Uh, there was a book written, Introduction to Wikipedia, as well as a uh, cross faculty introduction to Wikipedia course started in Moscow State University. Uh, ongoing uh, collaboration with various GLAMs, once again in Chechen Republic, uh, with language oriented event. Uh, Northwest uh, Wikimedians uh, have started their own writing and uh, photography contest, went uh, international and multilingual right away. Uh, and the uh, annual uh, December visit to the High Republic, uh, cold northeast of Russia, meetings with the press, with the government, with GLAMs, with education there, as well as introducing the book, Introduction to Wikipedia. Uh, within two contests sponsored by Tatarstan, one related to Tatar here, and the other related to global Tatar culture. We had over closer over 2,000 articles created with, uh, in this one, over 100 newbies participating. So that was an interesting experience. And Bashkir Wikipedia Elder was recognized federally with a special award. And we were given a chance to present on type of activities volunteers are doing towards multilingualism, multiculturalism. And the year's last event was Karelia Wiki Expedition. Uh, we started the year by ratings and summing up the results. Erzia Language Group had their own event, and here is the documentation. Uh, and Altai people, they started at the times of uh, Celtic, not last year, worked hard to get their Wikipedia out of the incubator within six months or so and welcoming all others internationally on the 20th anniversary. A few days before International Mother Language, uh, Mother Tongue Day, Bashkir colleagues uh, act, uh, were recognized, uh, that's in their opera theater, the ceremony with various awards uh, from, and prizes from say regional elites. And later their governor of Bashkortostan uh, and respective foundation has issued them with a grant to support uh, funding for prizes for, what is it, five specially themed uh, co article contests in Bashkir, as well as six uh, online courses and various statistics that uh, they are to help those newbies to get to. That was the event on uh, 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 third event on Tatar culture. Uh, we had some 1500 articles and uh, that is uh, strengthening our experience on working with newbies in a fully transparent way so that non-Wikipedians understand why and what we are uh, say valuing in Wikipedia. 
important uh, turning date for Altai Wikipedia with the press release and TV and uh, ongoing seminars and support since then. Uh, showcasing some experiences to various uh, regional and uh, country level stakeholders. And some uh, contests that are run by our Bashkir colleagues. Uh, one of the dormant Wikipedias that was reached out by Moscovites, Natalia Sinatra in this case. And uh, Russian Wikipedia, it's uh, a different league, so they are aiming high. Uh, Oleg reaching out to Komi Permyak also used to be one of the dormant ones with zero to one participants. I daily come and update the area picture of the day, so I am familiar with statistics around. This year, we decided to support, even if uh, symbolically, our African colleagues and uh, organized a challenge in Tatar Wikipedia as well. And uh, Moscovites are making strides further, uh, awarding uh, mass media that is moving to free licenses uh, together with the, the establishment events, ongoing Bashkir contest. Another good uh, discovery of ours was awarding certificates and diplomas to participants as well as finalists of various contests, very well taken by teachers, by GLAM people, as well as by university or high school students for their CVs, etc. Now, the main part of this presentation was to talk about main ideas for sustainability. Example of Tatar Wikipedia. Uh, language ecosystem for, uh, for one today needs everything you see here on the left column. So Wikipedia uh, is actually much more than just Wikipedia. And all of those projects need to be vibrant and need to be in line with the needs of today as well as the needs of tomorrow, because uh, anything, language, culture, or specific project uh, are just tools that are making us uh, stronger and uh, assure our well-being. Uh, we defined a sustainability criterion and are striving to reach it. Uh, Wikipedia should be that life buoy for uh, the language and for the vibrancy of that culture. In case of Tatar community, we understand that uh, materials that are, say, of interest to the audience, to readers, should be easily findable, which is not yet the case. So they should be linked to very well inside the project, should be all described in Wikidata, should be proper, uh, their picture should be categorized in commons, et cetera. So we are starting with things of primary importance and intend to be moving to wider uh, and do that wider materials available in Tatar. And then the second aspect is that if people living within a specific municipal district are looking for something of importance to them, it should be available. So in this case, let's say uh, head of the village or uh, director of a school or some museum in the nearby village or some employer uh, in proximity uh, should be as well described as, uh, I guess, to English speakers, would be expecting an article about, say, the mayor of Oslo, the president of Harvard University, Louvre Museum, or Huawei, etc. And uh, since all of that material within country is available in Russian somewhere, uh, it should also be available in the local language, and it should be visible to each and every person searching online how their local language is contributing to their socioeconomic development and their kids and their grandkids as well. And the last one is like uh, 1,000 articles for education project of our Basque colleagues. We don't want to limit ourselves with 1,000. Uh, we want to have a, a list of all terminology in a uniform Russian Federation education curricula that exists from K through 12 to university. 
and make a list in Wikidata and track how all our languages are improving in line with those articles, first having them and then uh, start improving them. Hope that will help us to get to the Wikimedia world where any format of knowledge about anything in any language is easily within equal easy reach. Well, thank you very much for your attention. And I would like to close this with uh, some greetings from our Saha colleagues. Let's see if we can.